Welcome back to, to Factorio C Block and a bit of a slight change to schedule just because I'm away doing other things unfortunately so this weekend mostly Factorio. We'll be back to our regular station years and um, Kerbal Space Program very shortly. Uh, of course I'll still continue these but uh, these are good and useful episodes to have in reserve. So we've got, um, let's take a look, we've got our gold coming out of here. For now we're just going to box that up because uh, we can't do anything with it yet until we've actually researched it. So. We're just going to set this to gold ore, and it's going to be in here somewhere. Gold ore. There it is. Okay, so that's gold taken care of. Next, we need to take care of aluminium, lead, and nickel. And as I remember last episode, lead and nickel are up here. Uh, I'm going to need to send one underneath. So we're going to go this way. Uh, maybe not there. There we go. And well, it shouldn't actually matter for that one. We can do it both ways. And we'll drag it back from over here. There we go. So we are going to need just a few more filter inserters. The kind that can we get a choice. So let's just choose this. So we want uh, lead, is it? Lead. And uh, we do need some power poles. Use up some of these small ones. There we go. So lead's going that way, which is where it should be. And it'll get smelted up. And then we want nickel. And nickel is going to go this way. And we will make sure that that is also boxed up. Grab another filter inserter. Nickel. There we go. That's that taken care of, which just leaves aluminium and slag. Slag, again, we will probably just um, box up for now. Because we aren't going to be producing a lot of this for the moment. Well, in fact, we could crush it. Uh, yeah, that's a good option. So why don't we just look at uh, stone that takes that to be crushed or landfill. Can we convert it directly into landfill? Sand. That's in from crushed stone, so we want crushed stone first. Um, are we just getting slag out of this? We are. Hmm. What's that conversion done in? Uh, just in an ore crusher. Fine. So we just have to move that around and down. Grab an ore crusher. There we go. Choose crushed stone. Put this below it. And both of these should be able to directly insert. We shouldn't need any extra sort of filter inserter here. And then we'll just put a box at the bottom. Set this to sand. And it seems <laughs> waste disposal in this world is largely composed of turning stuff into land. Uh, that is fine. So now we've only got aluminium left, which is what we needed in the first place. So can we actually do anything with it yet? Aluminium ore. Can we put it through the normal process? Uh, where's the aluminium... Ingots, alumina, aluminum oxide. There we go. So here we are. So green metal catalysts are the thing we're going to need to eventually make, which needs aluminium ore directly. So we don't want to smelt that down. And can we even smelt it down? We can't smelt it down yet. <laughs> okay, so if we can't smelt it down, we're just going to need to box that as well. And while we're at it, we probably want as much of that as possible. Uh, I don't have a warehouse available yet, so we're just going to box it and... Make do. There we go. Uh, there it is. So that should now process. Everything has begun. Get started up. And is that going? I think it is. We're just going to need some more flotation cells. So we'll get those going. I need some steel. Lots of steel. Which should have built up a little bit more further up. 
Here we are. That's the, my steel box. Yeah, 124. Not great. We need to improve that. Okay, here I've added a couple more flotation cells. And are you full already? You're not already full. Good. So we have our nitric wastewater here. Can we do anything with it? Nitric wastewater. Uh, it's, well, it's not FNEI, so nitric. Okay, nitric acid barrel. Nitric acid. It's probably from that. Uh, it doesn't give me any recipes. Nitrogen dioxide. Monoxide. And no. Apparently the <laughs> nitrogen just appears from nowhere. Okay, fine. I'll just tank that up for now then. And we'll, of course, void it via clarifier if we need to. So I've got three flotation cells here. Set them up identically and they are being supplied. So we have a good supply of nickel and of lead. And of course the nickel we're thinking in well, we're gonna probably need to warehouse it i'm gonna need some stone bricks which are all the way across the factory i'm gonna cut to get me getting those and one goal while going out to get those a major problem is again around here we've got the slag coming in it's backed up the fact that it's backed up means that none of these can process and if they can't process they can't produce oxygen oxygen is used to make sulfuric acid which is the other ingredient I was taking it from the same machines. We've got uh, this pipeline right here runs straight to these machines. Now, do I have oxygen running from the other side of things? I think they're backed up all the way, so there's not going to be no oxygen production. So the only thing we're going to need to look at is can we make a source of oxygen just straight out of the air, so to speak? Compressed air, yes we can, and that produces nitrogen and oxygen, as you might imagine. So we can think about producing that compressed air we just make an air filter and we'll just put that into a chemical plant and void the nitrogen so um air filter air filter mark two let's make one of those and let's i think i should have some chemical plants already in my inventory yes i do good so we will just supply it right where we need it which is right about here uh that's slightly annoying but why are those two hmm let's just get rid of one of those because this same line gets fed into all of this stuff here and we don't we shouldn't actually need independent production at that point uh we can remove all of this pipeline running this way if we just supply an independent amount of oxygen so where's my air filter? There it is. And I guess there's no real... That's huge. Um, <laughs> let's just put it... Uh, let's just put it here for now. And then we want a chemical plant. That's going to be slightly annoying, isn't it? Okay. So you're going to produce air. You are going to produce... Um, Oxygen, I guess. And of course, it's the bottom one. <laughs> Why? Um, hmm. <laughs> this is awful. I'm going to have to move it back. Let me align the chemical plant first. So, we're just going to feed it this way. And that means we can put that right there. That is the oxygen, isn't it? Oxygen. Yes. And we can clarify the other direction. So that just means we're going to put something there. And then where's my air filter again? Um, remove you. There we go. And air. Air is being produced. And then we want another flare stack, I would imagine. Flare. I hope I've got enough production with this single thing to produce enough oxygen for everything to kick on, but we'll see very shortly. Um, I need to make sure the flare is done. Why can't I cannot see the flare? There it is. So let's put you there. Connect you up with the single. And then there we go. So we've got oxygen going. 
do we have enough? Because if we don't have enough, we can always move this further back here and put multiple of these along a line of some kind and then just have to rework the flare stacks. That's certainly being fed in and being used immediately. Let's see if... Uh, are you getting everything you need? Sort of. We may have to actually bulk this up a bit. And of course, because nothing's ever that simple, we also need hydrogen. We're producing with two air filters directly just pure oxygen right here, and it's building up nicely, but they also need hydrogen right here into these two plants. They do produce purified water, and we can produce both hydrogen and oxygen from purified water. I just wasn't, I didn't want to basically starve this whole network of it, just in case there was any issues. So let's just look, is there, um, let's take a look. Purified water is just water and saline, and high hydro plant can actually do that so uh we well we can create a source of water somewhere and feed in our hydrogen where's our hydrogen coming from it's coming through here through here so anywhere around here we can feed in a water source into a hydro plant that's huge <laughs> uh, we'll do it up here and then uh, i'll actually have a line there i can hook into so let's just put it there for now. And let's just say we want to produce that. That should give us a purified water on the bottom. And then where's an electrolyzer? Yep, there we go. Let's see which of its inputs are we going to get purified water. That's going to be an output. Top input. Okay. And we'll feed these into the same lines, I think, used by everything else. Oxygen in these lines is actually coming back from over here. It's not coming out of these at all. So we can probably just feed in hydrogen right here. And maybe oxygen on the other side. So in that sort of sense, we can just connect these two with a pipe. Connect this up to a, this, uh, a clarifier. Get that going. I was trying to move on to other stuff, but it, as always in fact, you get distracted with... Stuff that's actually need fixing. <laughs> far, far too often. Uh, let's just get... We're just going to get rid of all of this. And... I think that needs power to do that. And then, of course, we do need a source of water. Uh, let's just get... What was I looking for? I was looking for pipes. And a pump. That can will do just fine. And then we've got some water fill already. Um, I guess I'm just going to put it here for now. And let's see if that will actually connect up with the pump. It may need another few blocks to do that. There we go. Let's try you now. There we go. Okay. And water being fed in. do yeah you're now producing exactly what we want so here i'm just going to feed directly into here for this top one so if we're going to bring it down that way and i need to make a couple more of those and some more regular pipe please as well while we're at it And here we go, fed this one directly on the ground and into the existing network, which should get used up automatically as it needs to. And we've also got some hydrogen, hopefully, being produced from this as well. And that's producing at full speed, it looks like. It's green. Yeah, as is this, and this should be clarifying when it needs to. Yep, yeah, looks like it is. I think that's everything. Does that mean it started up this again? Yeah, it is starting up maybe a little while until it catches up it needs to produce more acid here which relies on purified water which is coming out of there um i suppose we could also try and pump the excess from this right here over there that's going to need some more pipes 
all it does actually look like once I move this further out so it can make use of this pipeline instead of just the output from this one machine this actually works pretty well so it is moving at full speed and producing everything we need so that is hopefully enough for our ore to get started again right so I was talking about stone bricks okay and then I need to head back over here and we'll sort out the rest of the stuff this way uh do I have any more Ooh, I have do have quite a bit more landfill and all of that just to build a warehouse to hold nickel and that should do the job which probably needs a fast inserter well maybe not a fast inserter we'll just use one anyway there we go and pick up and drop just need some power now there we go so the nickel from this side will be used up that will start everything back up down here and we'll have the whole production plant going there we go we should also start this up which of course is drawing from the same supply of rubite so that may have a shortage issue in fact we've already got a shortage issue at the moment because we still aren't producing enough mineral sludge and that's probably because our iron has been is using it all up because we came to a halt let me just check to make sure that's all working I did eventually need to put in that other pipeline. These two machines that were producing water from oxygen and hydrogen were being starved. Remember, we have a machine over here that's just producing free, essentially purified water. So, you know, if it weren't for the fact we are using these two pipelines for other purposes, we could just get rid of that thing entirely and just produce purified water for these. And if I move these out, I will probably do that. I have their own dedicated water setup. To produce that for these and uh, because you can see it right here uh, these two machines the only purpose for this is producing purified water so if we remove these lines uh, the oxygen line from here uh, that's coming from elsewhere oxygen line it's purely going into those two sorry that a hydrogen line it's a hydrogen line the oxygen line however is being used by this this chemical plant is producing sulfur from oxygen and hydrogen sulfide so I would always need oxygen there which is the thing that's coming from all the way over this side, all the way to from here. So I can't get rid of it entirely, uh, but we can actually use another remote plant to produce the purified water. Okay, onto crotinium, which is the next ore that we need to produce. So that should be a straightforward process. Similar to the one we've got here, we can just, oops, uh, no, actually, I don't want that. Uh, I want, let's take all of that, let's say and do i want the power poles and the belt as well maybe not the belt that'll do okay so we're going to produce that maybe down here actually let me just line up and good tip there is to run not move your mouse that'll line everything up and keep it lined up and there we go so i'm going to need to make more bots Clearly, they'll be in here. Here, there we go. Make some ten, 10 more bots. And some more straight pipe. We will choose a different recipe. If I can make rotinium. Yep, we can. Okay. I should do what I'm actually making. Oh, the bots, that's why. Fine. And I will run, manually run the belt going this way. And we will get the power connected to everything else. And of course, we will need the mineral sludge, which will have to come from up here. Once I figure out the shortages, of course, but that's, uh, that's fine. In fact, there is some in here. Good. We're actually pulling this fairly close from the iron section, so it's sort of going to compete with the rest rather than do that. So here we've got some crotinium ore already. And what we're actually going to be doing with that is making silver ore. So silver ore comes from crotinium chunks, which comes from crushed crotinium and it goes through hydro refining. So again, crushed, we're going to need a ore crusher. At least one. And I think we're going to just, I'm not going to bother putting a separate setup down here. I think we're going to try for the, uh, the proper, well, just one setup for crotinium 
and we'll see how that actually goes on. Um, where's my all? I need more basic circuit boards. Not hard, but I do have them on manufacturing all the way over here. One of the first candidates for when we actually get bots on this world is, is actually getting bots just to move stuff around from over there all the way down. So let's just get that all sorting facilities done. And we're going to need a couple more assembly machines. Do I have? Yeah, and I've got some more crushers. Yeah, just in case. And here comes my ore sorter. There we go. So you are now going to do... Yeah, there we go. Products. We need crush, uh, we need cortinum chunks from that, so let's actually just move that one further out. Uh, where have I got them on this one just running next to it? Okay, so we need some flotation cells first. And you need some steel. Which I may have in a box, but I'm not sure whether I've disconnected it. Let's just try. Oh, 120 steel, that'll do. So we want... Let's just make three flotation cells, just what we've got there. And if we're going to do that, then we need to put this onto a belt. There we go. And choose Cretinium Crushing. That will also produce some stone, I would imagine, which we're just going to produce sand from. And we'll just box that up like normal. There we go. And we'll make sure that line is pure. That's fine. Uh, is the flotation cells done? Looks like they are. Did I space them out? I may have put them right next to each other. Cortinium. Those are done. We need purified water on the input. Yeah, we do. And we're going to get more nitric waste water, are we? Uh, Cortinium. Chloric wastewater. Okay, so yet something else we need to actually tank up and potentially dispose of. Let's pull that down and also get ourselves a few more of these. And then I'm also going to need to get the purified water. Now, do I have a tank... Uh, any way of getting that down here, other than just running really long. Mm, I'm almost tempted to actually create a separate setup for purified water. Although I do have it here, and it's not terribly far away. So I'm going to make that and do that off camera, I think. Okay, here we have the ore sorter, and now everything is running here with the crotinium chunks. We're getting a very similar set to the one we've got here, uh, now able to produce silver. So we've got silver, we've got iron and copper, and we'll be able to feed those iron and copper back into the system, as well as lead, it looks like. Is it lead? Um, silver ore? Yeah, lead. So we'll feed the lead over and into the other lines, and then the iron and copper can go straight back up into, um, well, into this line, maybe. Yeah, we can feed them in right here. So if I go underground there, and right here, for instance, we can feed iron and copper in there and, uh, well, right next to it, you get the idea. Right there. I'm not going to do that on camera because you saw me do it last episode with the, the lead and the, uh, the nickel. So we will be in a good position there. And for the silver then, we'll be in a good position to ship that along with the aluminium, which is coming out from this side towards into kind of an area around here to produce the thing we need for both of them. So this is the green metal catalysts along with, uh, well, methanol to produce formaldehyde. We can do other things with it. Is there anything useful? 
We can make methanol with them as well. Okay. We can make nitrogen monoxide, acetic acid, hydrogen sulfide, styrene. We don't have a lot of the technologies for a lot of these. So, okay, we're just going to have to go back a little bit further. Uh, so, yeah, we need to make the formaldehyde. And is there any other way of making methanol? Methanol straight from cellulose fiber. So we could do it that way using the old fashioned way. Or again, we could use, um, there is another way of doing it with the green metal catalysts. Yeah, so we can make it from carbon dioxide and hydrogen. And those are both really, very really simple to actually make. So I think next episode, we're going to get into green metal catalysts and what they can do for us. Specifically, we'll want to make formaldehyde, combine it with urea. That will take us into resin, which will take us into fiberglass board. Hopefully. <laughs> and from there, we're going on into lots of uh, more circuit board stuff. So I hope you'll join me for that. Again, this has just been a second uh, Factorio episode. You got a bonus one this weekend, but otherwise we'll be back to the regular schedule tomorrow. As always, guys, feel free to like, subscribe, share if you've enjoyed the episode. Otherwise, let me know why in the comments. <laughs> Maybe two Factorio episodes are too much for you. I don't know. In any case, I'll see you next time. As always, guys, thanks for watching.